It affects the biliary system, specifically the bile bile ducts, which can lead to serious complications. Explore the anatomy and physiology of the biliary system. Langitis, the pathogenesis of the condition, it classification and severity grading, microbiome, antibiotic therapy, potential association with. Let's dive into the fascinating world of cholangitis. The biliary system plays a crucial role in the digestion and metabolism of fats. It consists of the liver, gallbladder, bile ducts, and sphincter of Odi. The liver produces bile, which is stored in the gallbladder and released into the small intestine to aid in the digestion and absorption of dietary fat. The bile ducts, including the common bile duct, transport bile from the liver to the gallbladder and then to the small intestine. Cholangitis can arise from various causes, including gallstones, biliary strictures, malignant neoplasms, colidocal cysts, and parasitic infections. The presence of an obstruction in the bile ducts hampers the flow of bile, which can lead to bacterial overgrowth and subsequent infection. Additionally, risk factors such as age, gender, certain medical conditions, for example, diabetes, immunosuppression, and previous biliary interventions can increase the likelihood of developing cholangitis. The pathogenesis of cholangitis involves a complex interplay between inflammation and infection within the bile ducts. The presence of an obstruction or stasis of bile creates a favorable environment for bacteria to proliferate. This leads to an immune response, resulting in inflammation and subsequent damage to the biliary epithelium. The release of pro-inflammatory cytokines further perpetuates the inflammatory process, leading to the clinical manifestations of cholangitis. Acute cholangitis typically presents with a triad of symptoms known as Charcot's triad, which includes abdominal pain, usually in the right upper quadrant, jaundice, and fever. However, not all patients present with this classic triad. Other symptoms may include chills, nausea, vomiting, dark urine, and clay-colored stools. The severity of symptoms can vary, ranging from mild discomfort to severe sepsis. When cholangitis is suspected, Diagnostic evaluation is crucial to confirm the diagnosis and guide treatment. Blood work may reveal elevated liver enzymes, bilirubin levels, and inflammation markers. Imaging modalities, such as ultrasound, computed tomography, CT, and magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography, MRCP, can provide valuable information about the biliary anatomy, identify obstructions, and assess the severity of inflammation. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, and percutaneous transhepatic cholangiography PTC, are invasive procedures that allow for direct visualization of the bile ducts and potential therapeutic interventions. The Tokyo guidelines provide a standardized classification and severity grading system for cholangitis. It incorporates clinical, laboratory, and imaging parameters to categorize patients into mild, moderate, or severe cholangitis. This classification helps clinicians determine the appropriate level of intervention and guide antibiotic therapy. In cholangitis, the most common pathogens implicated are gram-negative enteric bacteria, such as Escherichia coli and Klebsiella species, and anaerobic bacteria, including Bacteroides fragilis. Polymicrobial infections are also frequently encountered. Understanding the microbiology and local susceptibility patterns is essential in choosing the appropriate antibiotics for cholangitis treatment. Untreated or inadequately managed cholangitis can lead to various complications, including liver abscesses, sepsis, and biliary strictures. Liver abscesses require prompt drainage and appropriate antibiotic therapy. Sepsis, which can result from the spread of bacterial pathogens, necessitates aggressive resuscitation, administration of broad-spectrum antibiotics, and, in severe cases, intensive care management. Biliary strictures may require endoscopic or surgical interventions to restore biliary drainage. The cornerstone of cholangitis treatment involves a multidisciplinary approach aimed at eradicating infection, relieving biliary obstruction, and preventing further complications. Prompt initiation of appropriate antibiotic therapy is crucial, targeting the identified pathogens and considering local susceptibility patterns. Biliary drainage is essential to relieve obstruction and facilitate the removal of infected bile. Endoscopic and percutaneous approaches, such as endoscopic sphincterotomy, EST, biliary stenting, or percutaneous transhepatic biliary drainage, PTBD, are commonly employed. In more complex cases, surgical intervention may be required. 
The choice of antibiotics for cholangitis should be guided by the suspected or identified pathogens, local resistance patterns, and severity of infection. Empiric therapy often includes broad-spectrum antibiotics covering gram-negative enteric bacteria and anaerobes. Once microbiological culture results are available, targeted therapy can be initiated, considering susceptibility patterns and antibiotic pharmacokinetics. Recent studies have suggested a potential link between cholangitis and cholangiocarcinoma, a malignancy of the bile duct epithelium. Chronic inflammation and biliary epithelial damage caused by repeated episodes of cholangitis may contribute to the development of cholangiocarcinoma over time. Further research is needed to fully understand the pathophysiological relationship between cholangitis and cholangiocarcinoma. The prognosis of cholangitis depends on various factors, including early recognition and intervention, severity of infection, and the presence of underlying comorbidities. Timely management can lead to favorable outcomes, while delays in treatment can result in significant morbidity and mortality. Long-term follow-up is crucial to monitor for complications, assess biliary function, and address any recurrent or persistent symptoms. Gitis, from its causes to treatment options, is this complex condition and enhance patient outcomes.